Hello. My name's Mouldy. I know what you're thinking. He's grown. Well, yes, it's true. I've got a bit of a size issue. But it's not my fault. It's the condensation that does it. I keep trying to slim down, but it's all the moisture that makes me grow. That's why I wanted to have this talk. You can help me trim down if you just make a few simple changes around the house. Huh? <sighs> Look, see? All this steam, I just gained another inch. Oh! Please, when you're cooking, put lids on bubbling saucepans. Mm -hmm. Don't leave your kettle boiling and only fill it with as much water as you need. You need an extractor fan and you need it to be on. Make sure it isn't blocked. Uh -huh. And keep the door closed so that the steam doesn't escape and condense elsewhere. Okay. <sighs> when you're taking a shower or a bath... <gasps> oh. oh, hi, sorry. Don't mind me. I'm just telling the viewers, showers and baths give off loads of steam, so you should always have the extractor fan on. Or the window open a bit. <sighs> and keep the door closed even after you've finished so that the steam goes out the vents and not into the house. <sighs> Drying clothes creates loads of moisture. You should really hang wet clothes outside. But OK, so if you don't want to hang your pants up in public, then the best inside place to dry them is the bathroom with the door closed uh, make sure you spin wet clothes really well before you hang them up and if you've got a tumble dryer make sure it's connected to an outside vent instead of turning the central heating up high just when you need it it's much better to keep your house at a constant temperature of around 18 to 22 degrees that will help stop condensation forming. It's better to have your curtains open to let the air circulate or the heat will go up behind them. Any ventilators should be kept on or open all the time. Condensation often forms on windows or other cold surfaces like toilet systems. You should wipe it down when it forms. Ever wondered why the water level on the fish tank goes down? No, the fish isn't drinking the water. Keep a lid on it to stop evaporation. If you do find mould growing, you should wipe affected areas with a fungicidal wash. <laughs> One which carries a health and safety executive approved number. Making sure you follow the manufacturer's instructions. I don't use bleach or washing up liquid. They don't work. <laughs> you see, anything that gives off moisture causes condensation, and condensation can cause mold. So always remember, less moisture, less moldy.